something is cutting through our solar system at impossible speed faster than anything humanity could ever hope to chase. It comes from a place we've never seen, carrying the chemistry of an alien sun. We'll only glimpse it for a short while before it vanishes forever into the abyss. Every telescope on Earth is turning to catch its light before time runs out. Only at the end do we learn its name, the interstellar wanderer 3i, Atlas. When astronomers first calculated its velocity, the numbers were staggering way beyond anything our spacecraft could match. Chasing it would be like trying to catch a bullet with a bicycle. The only shot we'd have would be years of planning and carefully timed gravity assists, like what Project Lyra proposed for Oumuamua. But 3i, Atlas is already outbound. That window is closed. Speeds like this don't happen by accident. This thing was launched from somewhere, probably ejected from another solar system after a close gravitational encounter with a giant planet, or flung away during the chaos of planetary formation. Whatever the case, it's a castaway, a fragment of another world, crossing our skies before vanishing into the dark again. And here's the strange part. Even at this speed, it's still bright enough for us to study. Not for long, but long enough. Right now, telescopes can track it. Through August and September 2025, this is our prime observing season. After that, the sun swallows it in glare by late October. If we're lucky, it'll reappear in December, outbound, dimming, and then it's gone forever. It has a faint coma, a hazy cloud of gas and dust surrounding its core, and maybe even a short tail in some images. That's why, at first, Many thought it was just another long-period comet from our own solar system. But not everyone sees the same thing. Some observatories report almost no tail at all. Others say the coma is barely visible. Its appearance changes depending on when you look and what kind of telescope you use. If it is a comet, that alone makes it different from Oumuamua, which had no tail, no visible outgassing, and yet behaved strangely, accelerating for reasons we still can't fully explain. Atlas, at least, is showing the kind of sublimation we'd expect. Frozen materials heating under sunlight and venting into space. And yet, even this normal comet behavior leaves us with more questions. We don't know how big it actually is. Brightness in space can be deceiving. A small, shiny object can appear as bright as a large, dark one. And if most of that light is coming from its gas cloud, the solid nucleus inside could be much smaller than it seems. Some estimates put the size at up to 20 kilometers across, but that's the upper limit. It could be far smaller. Its coma might also hide clues about its birthplace. If we detect familiar molecules, carbon monoxide, cyanide, that would suggest a chemistry similar to comets from our own solar system. If not, then we're looking at a recipe forged in alien conditions under a star that isn't our sun. And that's what makes 3i, Atlas, so fascinating. It's familiar enough to recognize, but foreign enough to feel truly alien. Right now, 3i, Atlas, is inbound, closing in on the sun with every passing day. But it's not diving straight in. Its closest approach, perihelion, will come around October 29th, 30th, 2025. At that point, it will still be about 1.4 astronomical units from the sun, a little closer than Mars, but far from Earth. After that, it swings around and heads straight back into the deep dark between the stars. No second chance. No return ticket. The clock is ticking. From now through August and September, it will be visible to large amateur telescopes and observatories. This is the prime observation window, the time to capture images, spectra, and every scrap of data we can. By late October, the sun's glare will hide it from view. Observations will be nearly impossible it might reappear in December, but by then it will be outbound, cooling, and fading fast. Once it's gone, that's it. We'll never see it again. It will vanish back into the darkness, carrying its secrets with it. Astronomers across the world are already coordinating, booking precious telescope time, choosing the best instruments for each observation, splitting tasks between imaging, tracking, and chemical analysis. This isn't just about pretty pictures, it's about breaking its light apart into a spectrum and reading its chemical DNA. That's where the real science happens. We missed that chance with Oumuamua, we nailed it with Borisov, and 3i Atlas could go either way. 
if it shows unusual molecules, strange activity, or something we've never seen before, it could be our first real chemical fingerprint from another solar system. Every comet in our solar system is a time capsule, preserving the frozen chemistry of when and where it formed. But 3i, Atlas, it's not from here. Its speed, nearly 26 kilometers per second, relative to the sun, is too high for any comet born inside our system. Its trajectory isn't an ellipse. It's hyperbolic. That means no matter what, it will never slow down enough to return. It came from somewhere else, a system with its own planets, its own sun, maybe its own story of life or extinction. When sunlight hits a comet's gases, those gases glow at very specific colors, a chemical barcode. With Borisov, we saw traces of cyanide gas, carbon monoxide, and water ice similar to our own comets, but in different ratios. That told us its home system had to be colder richer in certain volatiles. With 3i, Atlas, we don't yet know the mix. Some early hints suggest strong carbon monoxide signatures, a clue that it formed far from its star, in a region colder than Pluto's neighborhood. If that's true, it might have been drifting in the outer edges of its home system for billions of years before something finally threw it into interstellar space. How it was set adrift. The most likely suspect? Gravity. A giant planet, maybe larger than Jupiter, could have nudged it into a new orbit, slingshotting it toward the void. Over millions of years, it traveled light years between the stars until it reached ours. And here's the unsettling part. If giant planets fling comets like this into interstellar space all the time, then our galaxy must be full of them. 3i. Atlas is just the one that happened to cross our path while we were looking. From discovery to departure, our encounter with 3i Atlas will last less than two years. Most of that time, it will be too faint to see without a telescope. Only for a brief window will it be bright enough for meaningful study, and even then, the details will be hard to capture. We can't send a spacecraft, it's already moving too fast. All we can do is point our best instruments at it and hope the data we gather is enough to piece together its origin. The bigger picture, think about it. We are sampling matter from another solar system without leaving our own. We're looking at something shaped by an alien star, frozen for billions of years, now melting under our sun. And maybe, just maybe, its chemistry will reveal that the building blocks of life, the same molecules that led to us, are common in the galaxy. Or maybe it will be utterly different, proof that other worlds are stranger than we've dared imagine. Before it's gone, by early 2026, it will fade beyond even the reach of our largest telescopes. After that, nothing. It will wander between the stars for eons, untouched, unobserved, until it drifts into another system where other beings, if they exist, might catch a brief glimpse of it just as we have. Until then, 3i, Atlas is a reminder. We are not alone in space, not in the sense of life, but in the sense of sharing this galaxy with countless travelers, each carrying stories from worlds we may never see. And for a fleeting moment, one of them has come close enough to whisper its secrets. If we can listen in time, until that inevitable vanishing, 3i Atlas serves as a quiet, humbling reminder. We are not alone in the vastness of space, not necessarily in the sense of alien civilizations, but in the sense of sharing this galaxy with uncountable wanderers, each forged in distant suns, each shaped by worlds we will never set foot on. Most pass unseen, a few come close enough to visit, and a precious handful arrive while we are here to notice. Each of them is a messenger, a time capsule of chemistry, a frozen letter from a place we will never see, written long before our sun even existed. For this brief moment, one such messenger has crossed our skies. Its trajectory is fixed. Its lifespan in our view is measured in months. But in that short window, it is whispering a story across the gulf between worlds a story only our telescopes, our instruments, and our imaginations can translate. The only question is, will we gather enough of its words before the silence returns?